Hey everybody, so here we are walking Lovey. Y'all finally get to see Lovey after like mad weeks. He is groomed, you guys. He doesn't have all that hair on him. I would have showed up before and after, but I didn't feel like it because I had to do all this or whatever the case is. So, um, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, uh, that's just basically about that. Yeah, that's for really sure. That's, that's good, you know. You know, um, people are cautious. Gotta be cautious when you see a little dog. You know, because you don't know what they're gonna do. They're gonna dot out. But yeah, so hey, everybody. All right, so here y'all with Lovey. So again, uh, I have to take Lovey to the vet because he's limping a little bit. Something's wrong with his leg. I don't know what it is. He probably has arthritis. So I found, if y'all notice, he's he's limping just a little bit. It's his right front leg. I mean, his left, his left front leg. So I'm gonna go to the vet tomorrow and see what's going on. And my vet has a dog just like Lovey. So he was saying how his dog's legs, he has some arthritis. So and maybe arthritis. And then Lovey thinks he's like extra young. So he Lovey continues to jump around and jump jump up when it's time to go. Like he gets so excited to go outside. Like he's never been outside before. So, um, so that's basically about that. So, yeah, so he does all that, and, like, he jumps, he jumps up, jumps in a chair, jumps, he does, he does a whole bunch of craziness. And when he does all that, I'm thinking that's what he did, because the same thing happened with his back. He sprained his back, and um, the doctor had to give him, like, some pain pills and, like, a shot or something. So, I don't know, the doctor might have to do the same thing. They're probably going to have to do an x-ray to see if there's any broken bones. But the way Lovey be acting, he acting like, you know, it ain't bothering him, because when he sprained his back before... Um, um, he was like walking on slow and like, you know, like he was like in real pain, but, um, but we still have some pain pills from before, so we've been giving him those, um, today, just strolling around, and the, oh, look, the, look at that, he done got, no, you can't go like that, oh my god, you can't, you can't do that, oh, Jesus. And then I got makeup on his um his coat, on his hair. I was trying to keep him from look look look, look what he's doing. No, you can't. Oh my god, this dog is destructive. Okay. Yeah, I spend a day with Lovey. Okay. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, I spend a day with Lovey. All right, we gonna go back on the sidewalk because I didn't feel like doing all that. All right, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all my face in a minute. I just had to had y'all to show. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, and y'all, he still has the thing on his neck. We are still saving for him. So, yeah, so hopefully we'll get it done by the end of this summer or something like that. Hopefully a miracle happens. <laughs> you know, so we shall see. So I'll speed up the saving process. So, yeah, because he has to get it done. Um, so, yeah. So that's just basically about that. It's a nice day in the park. There's a lot of people out here. So let me switch it over to me. Hold on, y'all. So y'all had three minutes of lovey. So that's good. Y'all got y'all lovey. Hold on, hold on, lovey. Wait, wait, wait over here. Wait over here. All right, y'all. Hey, hey, everybody. So yes. So um, I just want everybody to know that. I washed my hair and I did twist it, okay? Um, it seems like every time I wash my hair, I have to twist it. And because um, I went to the Marvin Sapp, so let's talk about Marvin Sapp. Okay, it's, it's a little bulge right here because I got my phone in here because I forgot my fanny pack um, to put my phone. My phone shouldn't be right there, but yeah, so um, yeah, it's right here. So yeah, but anyway, I digress. So yeah, so um, basically the Marvin Sapp was good. It was nice, it was awesome. I enjoyed my mom came um, and um, it was just so awesome to like you know be in the presence and listen to him sing and you know preach and stuff like that it was just so awesome it was an awesome experience and I really really enjoyed um, you know we praised dance to glory his song glory he sung a few of his songs he sung never would have made it and uh, y'all know never would have made it without you and he, sung, he saw the best of me and he sung another song that was oldie but goodie and um then we did his song glory and um i believe that's an older song 
and um it, it was pretty good like we really enjoyed it was very nice it was it was very nice and i felt refreshed after you know very refreshed um i felt like you know i received something and um it, it was very nice and i'm glad i had the opportunity to be there you know and things of that sort and to have that experience um and that's just basically it about that so trying to see what word of the day is y'all but um there's somebody coming i have to put levy on the short lease because you don't know how to act sometimes sometimes he'd be all right but then sometimes you know so yeah so that's basically about that but yeah y'all how y'all doing today how y'all doing i'm sorry so the sticker challenge i am doing it yes i'm sorry y'all i have been so behind and i've been you know talking to the girls in the group and i really apologize i'm saying sorry again <laughs> I apologize um you know so this week I won't be backed up it's just because like for the past two weeks it's been a lot going on and um you know so it kind of like you know um shifted me from the things that I'm supposed to do so um the other videos that I was putting up they were already pre-recorded so um yeah so I just had to find time and to do my nails I was just always tired and you guys know I like to do my nails and have them you know you know looking you know nice or whatever when I do my um playing with me and stuff so um it was just hard for me I was just I was just so tired so that's basically about that y'all so um what else i wanted to say yeah so basically i just been um just been chilling and um you know doing my exercise and trying to do my yoga my blurred okay oh i was blurred the okay i was blurred the whole time why didn't y'all tell me i was blurred the whole time look at lovey oh y'all ain't tell me y'all ain't tell me so yeah so that's basically sorry about the blurredness y'all but <laughs> all right so yeah so um yeah so um i want to try the celery juice so tonight i'm going to shop right i just came from shop right and i had to get some other stuff but um i'm gonna go back to shop right later I, you guys know i don't like shop right but i'm going to get some celery and i'm going to probably get some zucchini and buy some like um chicken breasts or tenderloins or something like that so i could have like um something for lunch like do a packing a packing for lunch and then I'm going to go to Dollar Tree and buy some containers to have for like the week. So I'm gonna buy like five or six of those containers so I can have like lunch already. So I'm gonna try to do a, a, a fake meal prep, you know? I'm saying fake because it's like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try it out. So I'm gonna do like, for lunch, I'm gonna do chicken, tuna, chicken, tuna, like, you know, everything's not gonna be the same thing. I'm just gonna switch it up. And then like the next week, I'm gonna try it. And then I'm gonna incorporate exercise because y'all, I'm really trying to get this flat stomach and this is crazy. And I'm gonna try not to drink any juice this week. I haven't drank any juice last week. Um, this week, I'm not gonna drink the juice. I'm always, when I'm eating my meals, whatever I eat, I, I drink with water. And um, so if I do drink a juice, it'll only be one time, one time. And um, you guys know I don't drink soda. I haven't drunk soda since 2001 a high school um when i graduated from high school due to calculations i'm 35 y'all but anyway <laughs> um and so um that's basically it about that um what else i wanted to talk about but yeah so y'all keep loving your prayers there's always something going on with this dog like every time and let me be acting like nothing wrong with him he be jumping around like his leg don't hurt I like, love you. Don't y'all like her? He like looking at me like no. He be running up and down the stairs, and he just this this dog is, is one tough cookie, one tough cookie. And and I be over here poor poor me over here um stressing, <laughs> stressing like this dog. But you know, I bet you be like don't worry about me. I'm fine. So yeah, I don't like he's limping. Maybe just a tad bit, but not as much. I'm always watching him. Just a little bit, limping a little bit. I'm um, gonna give him a, a pill, a pain pill when he go in the house because I want him to eat. He just had some chicken and rice, so um, yeah. So that's basically about that. But yeah, so I got work today at five. When I go in the house, I'm about to record. Believe it or not, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. I went to sleep right. I, it was, it was. I had, um, I had to charge my batteries because my batteries was dumb. Both of my batteries were dead. So I had to wait until my battery charged up. So I did the first part of me planning for the week, right? I did that and I said I was gonna come back and do the stuff in the envelopes because it's gonna be a long video or whatever. So then I don't went to sleep. Woke up, it was like already like three o'clock or something like that. I'm like, oh well, I'm just gonna continue it. So the second part of the video, y'all gonna see like I'm like, today is Sunday, okay. Yesterday I recorded, so yeah. So I had to do better. Um I'm sorry again to the ladies, um, you know, um with the 
one um, week one challenge so the second week I'm gonna do way better so when I come home from work tonight I am going to record because I won't, I won't have time to do two because I'm, I'm gonna try to edit this and have it done so I can at least premiere it tonight you know like at least premiere it tonight um you know I, I guess after I get off of work it'll be a late a late premiere but I apologize about that or um it'll probably be like a 10 30 or something like that because that's because that's what time i um kind of make it home so i'm trying to see if i don't get it done by um the time i leave for work today then it's going to be a late premiere so hopefully y'all up because <laughs> uh, i work five to ten tonight i wish i ain't working five to ten tonight but yeah so um that's just basically it about that y'all so yeah so that's really it i don't really want to um talk about anything um okay but anyway <laughs> I was a little kid right on the bike. But yeah, so um yeah, so that's basically about that. But yeah, so come on lovey over here. And um yeah, so we got the, the trees blooming over here very nicely, very nicely. Um so the word of the, of today is confidence. <laughs> confidence. Oh my goodness. Wow. I was just like let me just talk about that confidence. Um confidence is basically you guys know what confidence is, is basically being you know um being more confident of yourself and what you do and, and whatever you do or of how you look and things of that sort and um um hold on y'all because i got some oh somebody um um basically um yeah this is my but anyway so, but yeah so um yeah so just being confident in what you do or how you look and stuff like that and having that confidence just just shows all over you and shows that you know that you just you just you just like how you look how you are as a person and what you do and things of that sort and it's always good to have that type of confidence because it shows through and it goes through to you know other you know other people and they see that like oh wow you know she's really confident in herself she's really you know um this is what she gotta do she's not unsure she's like wait a minute whatever like that because if you're not being confident you know uh, of yourself then you know who who else is gonna do that you have to look out for number one number one is you basically um and you know um come on lovey number one is, is is you you know and if you don't look out for number one you know nobody else will you know um with me i always say you know of course god comes first and you have your family and friends and things of that sort so it's like you know um being confident is not nothing to be ashamed about because um why not be confident in yourself why not give yourself a pat on the back I'm not saying you got to sit up here and be like snobby or snooty or think you're better than others but you know just just giving yourself props where props is due being confident in yourself and knowing that you know um you know what you do is how you do it you know and like with me like um, i have to be a little bit more confident with my like when i do my makeup you know sometimes i'll be like eh, no but i'm really confident in myself you know it, it's cool you know I, I don't mind you know the things that i do or how i look and stuff like that because you know um nobody's gonna look like you you know you are your your own person you are your own you know individual you do what you do you know like being trying to be somebody else you know um it just 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 makes you look fake you know what i mean and uh, i don't understand why people want to do that because why would you want to be somebody fake somebody plastic like you know what i'm saying it's like it doesn't make any sense to do that you know so um we just have to you know um do what we do and i'm um, just you know just just do what you do i mean i, I just want to ask this question why you know i understand it's one thing where you um you know think of someone or you know that you that you like what the person does and stuff like that but as far as like hating and you know not wanting to you know congratulate that person because they're doing something whatever the case is or you know whatever whatever like why why do people have to hate for like i don't understand that like why do people have to hate like just 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 congratulate or just look from afar and keep it moving you know what i mean and people put their energy to too many things that's negative why put your energy to something negative where all that energy could be put to something positive and it could be way better than what you're doing but that's something that's negative a lot of people just think that you know always doing something negative is going to get you somewhere and if it does get you somewhere whatever that you're going to what going through whatever that's somewhere that you're going through is going it's not going to last too long you know what I mean? And it's like you have to, you know, be mindful of that, you know, especially if, um, you know, 
of people that um you know whatever the case is like you just have to be nice to people you know it pays to be nice to people because sometimes or you never know you may need that person you may need that person because no come over here i love you come on come on come on come on come on come on you may need that person and um you know um you may need that person you know and you just never know you know and um that's just basically it about that but um yeah so just 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 be just 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 be be confident in what you do be confident in yourself because there's there's never a such thing as being to this or to that or whatever the case is is is, is being confident what's, what's so bad about that what's so bad about you know giving yourself a pat on the back what's so bad about saying okay i did this this is what it is or whatever the case is what's so bad about that people hate on every little thing and it's just like it's just ridiculous where do people find the energy I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out where that energy comes from because it's like, dang, why do you have to be so negative? For what? Like, like just relax. Like people just are really ridiculous these days, and it's just it just makes no it makes just zero sense. And then when it's time for positivity, it's just like it's just like uh, it looks like it's being forced. You see what I'm saying? Like people just I just don't understand. So just you know, people need to just take a step back and then think about things and then come back around and then come back refreshed because it's like you know what i'm saying so i don't know but that's all i'm gonna say for today that's all i got for today any videos that y'all want to see please let me know i want to review us but i gotta see it first <laughs> and um that's just basically about that but i don't know if i made sense today because i was just talking and plus i'm worried about lovey so it's like you know um, i'm trying to talk and walk lovey at the same time so it's kind of pretty hard and um you know but you guys know y'all know how i do all the time and that's just basically about that y'all like my hair y'all <laughs> um, I was trying to do the no twist thing, but um, I'm gonna try probably the next time. But it seems like every time I wash my hair, I got somewhere to go. And I was trying not to twist my hair, but I was like, no, I am twisting my hair on um, what was it last? What was it last Thursday? Yeah, last Thursday, I washed my hair. I took off from work last Thursday, and that was the praise dance from Marvin Sab. I was like, now nah, I'm gonna twist my hair, so I did. And that's basically about that. So that's what my hair is looking like. And one more thing, so I was at um. I mean, I was at church and somebody was saying something about you know the hair and you know um, I guess they daughter somebody you know um, their hair um, thinned out or whatever the case is. That's what I want to say. Um, it depends on what your hair. It depends on the individual's hair. Everybody's hair is not going to thin out from dreads, from locks, or whatever the case you want to call them. Um, it's how you treat your hair and it's what you do with your hair. Okay. Um, by um, just because um, somebody gets locks doesn't automatically mean that your hair is going to thin. You know what I mean? Like you have to really, really research and really, really have to, you know, you know, see what's going on. You have to be, and I, I will always say that before you start your locks, make sure your hair is in great or good or good condition. Because if you start your hair off, I mean, start your locks off in a condition that's not good, then your locks won't be the best or whatever the case is. So I will say just start your, come on, love you this way. Come on, love you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I would say start your um, locks on, on, come on, start your locks on um, hair that's, um, that's good, you know, because when I, before I started my locks, come on, lovey, before I started my locks, um, come on, before I started my locks, um, uh, I had a bald spot, okay? And um, I, I wanted to start it right after I took the crochet out and that's when I noticed that I had a bald spot when I was putting my hair in a puff and everything. And um, when I saw the bald spot, I had to wait till the bald spot grew out. And then that's when I, um, and then that's when I started my locks. I didn't start my locks out, um, you know, with that bald spot because it's like, bruh, like you gonna start your hair out with a bald spot and like, no, so that's what I did. So just basically, um, it depends on the um, individual or the person. If you guys want me to talk more about this, I will, but um, just it just depends. I'll get more into depth and do some more research and stuff like that, but that's just basically about that, y'all. So thank you guys for listening and things of that sort. I'm about to bring Lovey in the house because um, he's hopping a little bit, his leg hurts. So um, thank you guys for watching. Send prayers up for Lovey if you want to, if you can, and um, I will talk to you guys later. Love you guys. And um, have a wonderful, blessed day and blessed Sunday whenever you're watching this. And remember to always be confident. Don't be a hater. Congratulate. And just stop being negative. <laughs> be positive, boo. What's so hard about that? I mean, okay. Okay. Peace. Bye. 
Say bye. <laughs> All right, bye.